Hello art students. Today we're going to draw a dinosaur. And the dinosaur that we're going to be drawing is called C A R N O, Carno. It's called a Carno. That's the short name for it. So, that's the dinosaur we're going to be working on today. They're some of my favorite dinosaurs. They're meat eaters. Um they had um they were known to be pretty fast. Um, they had very unique shaped heads. So we're going to work on drawing the head of a carno today. So first thing you want to do, pick a spot on your paper. And you want to go up and back down. You want to put a bump beside on each end like that. Then you want to put two more smaller bumps there. And you want to go one, two, three. Okay. Now, after you have that, you want to come out here from this first bump. You're going to come out, and it's, you're going to make a really stretched out C-looking shape. It's going to come out like this, almost to a point. Come back. Go toward the front, and you're going to make a curve line, and then fill in a little circle. That's going to be the nostril for the nose. Go back up here, and you're going to make some upside down V shapes for bumps near the top of the head. Then you're going to come over here, and you're going to make a bigger one. Goes directly underneath this at an angle, and a circle for the eye. And you want to leave a little bit of white, fill in the rest of it black. You're going to come back to the front underneath the nose and you're going to make a line that comes down, goes straight back and then curves back around behind this eye part. Between the nose and the eye, you're going to do a curve line like that. And one, two, three, four, four little lines. Go back up here and we're going to make some more bumps. You can make as many as you want. It doesn't really matter. Just a few more bumps. When you have all of that, you're going to come right here. Now, notice you're not going to go back here. You're going to come up for a little bit. Make a curve line down, and then it curves back. And then you're going to do another one that looks almost identical to it, like that. You're going to do one, two, three. Now, because he's a meat eater, he's got to have some teeth. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can give him a few more if you want. You can space them out if you want. It's up to you. You, you don't have to put this many. You can put a whole lot more. Totally up to you. Then you're going to go back here behind where the mouth is. And do kind of like... A three that's kind of been stretched out. Do a couple of those. They're like wavy lines or threes that have been kind of stretched out. And just do a couple of little bumps. Now you're going to go back up here. And you're going to make a zigzag line that curves downward. Like that. And then you're going to continue doing some of those bumps. You can make some of them really tiny bumps. Some of them really big bumps. It's up to you. And there you go. You have now drawn the head of a Carno. And you can look up more information about Carnos. Um, they had these little... Um, horns uh, near and above their eyes. Some of them were really close to the eyes and were more far apart. If you want to, you can actually draw where you can see, instead of just one, you can actually see the other one over here like this. Just go up and down. Put one line like that. And you can kind of see that it had two. So, I hope that was fun. Hope you learned a little bit. Um, and I hope you have a great day.